we're staying on this topic of of this story that's coming out um, about um, the stories that are coming on about uh, Hunter Biden, I guess, or about the stories about Hunter Biden. And um, here is, and this is this is both surprising and not that surprising. There was a Pew Research poll that came out just the other day. And where is it? I never got to that story about the New York Times. That one quarter, I think it's 40% of Republicans believe at least part of the QAnon theory. Yeah, right? Thanks, Facebook. Yeah. And so it was only a matter of time before somebody in the Trump media world, and certainly this has been all over the place, you know, in the sort of lesser Trump media world, but here's someone who's bringing it on to Fox Business News. It is Maria Bartiromo, and she is talking to Senator Ron Johnson. And here she is. Now, remember now, like, all of this supposedly went down a year ago. Uh, the, and I don't know if the FBI was aware that Rudy Giuliani also got the, the copy of the hard drive, because that's usually operating procedure. They will, like I say, when you get your laptop fixed, proper thing to do in terms of when you run the diagnostics, then you clone the hard drive, then you give it to Rudy Giuliani, and then you give it to the FBI, of course. Uh, but here is Ron Johnson just going along with Maria Bartiromo playing into the Q narrative. Here on Sunday Morning Futures, there is more to come, and there is a further analysis of the subpoena's handwriting, and it suggests that the subpoena was served by an FBI agent uh, who, uh, his name is Joshua Wilson, and over the last five years, he has been working on child pornography issues. Connect the dots. If an FBI agent is working on child pornography issues for five years, why is he uh, subpoenaing the uh, laptop of Hunter Biden? Is there a connection here? Should this suggest that there's a child pornography issue here on that laptop? My God. Well, I think you just made the connection. Again, this is what the FBI, uh, I think, has to... See, like, uh, both these guys are... Both of them are, are, are laundering this. First of all, she's, this, there's a handwriting analysis of the subpoena. Like, where's the FBI in this? Like, where, like if the FBI subpoenaed this stuff, like, is, are, is, there, is there a case? Can we really not get information from the Department of Justice? Bill Barr? Like, I'm, I would never, ever talk about this stuff. Bill Barr was flying around the world trying to get people to implicate Hunter Biden. So they've done the handwriting analysis. And she's asking Ron Johnson to connect the dots. And his response is, well, you've connected the dots. So I'm just responding to what you said. Go back. It's funny. Like, they, it literally, it's just like, uh, I don't know. Here, you catch this. And by, somewhere as it's being passed in between them, it develops more credibility. Go oh, back. You know, you got to always say yes. Yeah, you got to say yes. Well, but it's also, it's, it's yes and, I think, is what it is. If you're talking about, like, improv technique. Mm -hmm. For five years, why is he uh, subpoenaing the uh, laptop of Hunter Biden? Is there a connection here? Should this suggest that there's a child pornography issue here on that laptop? Well, I think you just made the connection. Again, this is what the FBI, I think, has to come clean about. This, this isn't a standard investigation what? where, you know, if the FBI doesn't indict somebody, that, that everything remains confidential. This is something that, as we were talking about, relates to national security. And if, if there's criminal activity involved that could be tied to, to Hunter Biden or his business associates, or even possibly tied back to other members of the, of the Biden family, and as some of these emails indicate that Joe Biden was fully aware of this. He was taking his 10 percent cut or, or, or requiring 50 percent from his, his family member's salary. Uh, this needs to be known before Americans go to the, to, well, uh, the polls. Is that, the, is, that the, uh, is that what they're alleging, that Joe Biden was getting kickbacks from Hunter? 
How wasn't this in his investigation, Senate investigation that he just concluded? It is a little bit odd if Rudy Giuliani had this material for so long, why he didn't share it with the Senate when they did this investigation. Well, he was waiting for strategic QAnon reasons. So now we're to believe that this whole thing was actually just like, so Joe is saying to Hunter, you can take this job with Burisma. But you need to kick back some to me. Yeah, you got to get a taste. He, I, I mean, he wants to wet his beak, but I don't understand. Like, why couldn't Joe just go uh, to the job? Yeah, I like how they moved on from the child pornography speculation to like he was taking a cut. Well, I don't I understand. It's like, why didn't Joe just sit on that board? It's like four meetings a year. These I, I know people who sit on board of directors like this, and they just they have no expertise. Generally, they they do in one particular area. Uh, but not necessarily have anything to do with the with the with the enterprise itself. And they like maybe one or two weekends a year, they actually have to fly to like a some beautiful place and go to a couple of meetings and you get a ton of cash. Why wouldn't Joe just sit on the on the board? Well, he would have just had to give the money directly back to his fail son that way. You know, this way it's like it's like a win win. Oh, that's right. I guess yeah. That way you don't have to pay the uh the estate taxes or whatever it is that you got to. Okay. I get it. It's easier. It's cleaner this way. It's cleaner. It's Chinatown. Good. For salary, uh, this needs to be known before Americans go to the, to, uh, the polls. American- so was the FBI agent who served the subpoena uh, investigating child pornography, Senator? Well, you just read the news report. I, I can't comment any further. I don't want to speculate other than to say that what I said publicly before, our report uncovered so many troubling connections, so many things that need to be investigated that I really think we're just scratching the surface. And yes, I've heard all kinds of things that I think will probably be revealed over the next few days. Uh, There's a treasure trove of emails and video and pictures in not only the purported computer of of Hunter Biden, but now we've got the uh, co-conspirator, Bevan Cooney, that also starting to reveal information. I, I guess we're probably going to just find new, more information every day over the next couple of weeks. I think there's going to be a lot of nasty stuff that comes out, pictures that, you know, are going to be largely irrelevant, but maybe, you know, I don't know, disturbing videos. That's what I would imagine. But Like what? I don't know. Like There are pictures of like, I don't know, Hunter Biden, doing nasty stuff. I don't know. Looking cool. <laughs> Drowning in WAP. Things Who, of that nature. I have no idea the specifics. Uh, but but I, is- since, I mean, they're, they're teasing all this stuff. And it's like, you're a senator. You did a report. Like, you couldn't get this stuff to uh, Bill Barr? Ron Johnson couldn't get it to Bill Barr. Is that what we're to be- believe? This is just unbelievable. In fact... Not only did the New York Post, there was no, they couldn't get a writer to put their byline on the story they wrote. Check this out. This is from uh, um, Mediate has a story, exclusive story, put up this, uh, Brendan, that apparently Fox News themselves passed on the Hunter Biden um, laptop story because it lacked credibility. Here it is. Scroll up there. Wow. Fox was first approached by uh, Rudy Giuliani to report on the tranche of his uh, files allegedly coming from Hunter Biden's unclaimed laptop left at a Delaware computer repair shop. Uh, But the news division chose not to run the story unless or until sourcing and veracity emails could be properly vetted. When Fox News is the voice of reason, Mm -hmm. folks, you know you've got a problem. If you have that much money that you just left your laptop at a shop and forgot about it, maybe you have too much money. Just going to say. Well, that was the other thing. Like, uh, that seems like odd behavior. Like, like you, if, if you have that much money that you're going to leave it, why wouldn't you just throw it out? I don't know. He got high. He forgot. But like, I don't know. I've gotten high a number of times in my life, but you if never, I lost, if I, I would never lose track of my laptop. Jeez, I need that. I need that for work. 